The Explained series is back. Hey, what's up guys? I'm KBHD here, and ever since my Super Nexus project video, I've gotten a lot of questions about what exactly it means to root an Android device, and we'll cover the jailbreaking part in the end, but basically, people wanna know what exactly it means and what it entails to root an Android device. So by definition, root is having the ability to write to the root of the system partition. That's the basic definition of what it means. And once you've rooted, you've opened up a whole bunch of different possibilities that allow you to do a ton of different things and allow a little bit more control over your phone or tablet or any Android device. Once you root, you can get rid of all those pesky carrier installed, pre-installed apps that you don't want. And you can install and use a bunch of root only apps that only work on rooted phones, which gives you even more control than you had before. And as Adrianoff from XDA Developers points out, there are a ton of great root only apps for your device and for tons of Android stuff if you Google it. And frankly, it's these features from these root only apps that end up getting implemented into newer versions of Android. So you used to need root to, for example, take screenshots. Now that's built in to Android. You need to need root to tether with an Android device. Now that's built into Android as well. So if you wanna be on the bleeding edge of features and new customizations and new things to be able to do with your Android device, whether it's a tablet, a camera, or a phone, or whatever it is, look into rooting and root apps. If you wanna back up and restore app data, add themes to Android, change your boot animation, or change your entire ROM altogether. If you wanna take a device running one version of Android and flash and install a newer, more updated version of Android without waiting for your carrier to push it, you can do that if you're rooted. So the most common question after that is, how do I root my device? So basically the way to find out how to root your device, since it is just slightly different for every device, is to Google the exact model of the device you wanna root, followed by, you know, rooting instructions. And chances are you're gonna find the exact instructions you need. So for example, I have a Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. So if I Google how to root Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3, chances are you're gonna find a direct set of beginner level instructions that'll help you figure it out. Now yes, rooting does void your warranty, but as I like to say, you don't even really own the device until you've voided the warranty. But chances are if you do screw up, if you have a device even slightly newer than the original Motorola Droid, there is a community behind that to back you up and help you get fixed problems. Oh yeah, and you can unroot, so. Yeah. On the iOS side, it's called jailbreaking, as you probably already know. You can jailbreak iPhones, iPods, and iPads. There's also a huge jailbreak community as well. So if you want to jailbreak your device, it's similar to rooting. It's not technically the same, you know, gaining root, but it is very, very customizable. You can add a whole bunch of features and things to your device that weren't previously available. For example, in iOS, you used to need to be jailbroken to add wallpapers. Now that's built in. So... Go figure. Again, jailbreaking does void your warranty, but if you're up to it, Google the instructions for your specific device and you shouldn't have a problem. A lot of websites are really helpful. If you visit a very certain website on your device that you wanna jailbreak, you can actually just push a button on the website and it'll jailbreak you through that website. So it's really easy for both Android and iOS to get more control over your device, whether you wanna root or jailbreak. It's up to you. And for the most part, you can tell if a guide is trustworthy by reading the comments below it. If there are a lot of comments, a lot of success stories, then chances are it's trustworthy you can go for it. So get cracking. Either way, thanks for watching this quick video on rooting and jailbreaking explained. It was a pleasure. Hopefully you guys go out and uh, get that customization going on in your devices. Again, the Super Nexus project, which you can click on this device to watch, was done after I rooted the device. So once you root, you'll get the control and you'll be able to do all these things. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and I will talk to you guys in the very next one, which should be sort of a collab video. So hope you're ready for that. Peace.